Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and as per usual, we're going to start the show off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you're spending with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. What do you have, boss? Welcome to the Max City Morning Show. Hey everybody, Keith Simpson here from Neural Toyota. We support the oil barons. We've joined the drive-in movie theater. We're involved in the uh, marathon here in Fort McMurray and that's what makes this community such an amazing place to live. Hey guys, and Karam here back. with McMurray Dungeon Center. Shout out to Neural Toyota, a lot title of sponsor for the show. We appreciate it, Keith, Fad, Nimmer, all the boys and girls down at Neural. Thank you for your ongoing support. Now on with Friday's episode. Tanner, quick question. Can you see my feet currently? No. Good. To no, I don't. No, no, no. I'm good. Like even with that camera, you can't. Uh, and you get angles with this one. Okay. Ugh, the carpet feels so good. Carpet you're, feels you're, so you're good. Big fan of carpet, eh? Oh yeah, big time. Love carpet. It's a big thing. I don't understand. Like I have hardwood in my house. In certain places, I don't understand how people go like all hardwood in their homes. Like I don't get it. Like there's that's, there's nothing comfortable about that. Or tile. A tile's the worst. It's just cold. Tile's the worst. Yeah, it's. Cold and sad. And like it I've, looks nice though. It looks great. And I have uh, family, obviously, in like South America and Florida and stuff, where like tile is a thing, and I get it because it's hotter there, and it's welcome. But it's so hard on your foot, and like it's it's unforgiving. Yeah, but in like places like that, I would take tile over carpet. Yes, Think but you need all... to get some rugs though. Yeah, rugs. Yep. See, you have to go into tile. Because sometimes, like, literally, it's so hot you want to lie on the tile. Or there might, like, what, you, in those places, you don't know what kind of stuff's going to be crawling through that carpet. Oh, facts. Yeah. I never thought about it like that. Yeah, you don't know what is in and out of that thick, fibrous yeah. stuff. And, and uh, not trying to judge or anything, but I've heard tropical places have lots of bugs. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Lizards, bugs, spiders. Yeah, lots of things I could hide in, in medium thickness carpet. Yeah, although what I will say is those bugs and spiders and stuff are large and in charge down there. Yeah, fair enough. So, yeah, you you would have you'd have to have some pretty high up shag carpet to hide some of those things. Well, like all I'm saying is, if they're that big, they have to eat things that are smaller than them. You know. Fair enough. And like I I remember one time when I was in Guyana. I uh, stepped on a red ant's nest, and like those bad boys lit me up, and they are small. So there are there are some small things. You are right. I never thought about that. So, hmm, good call. But yeah, this carpet that we have here, I love sitting crisscross applesauce. It's my favorite way to sit. But when you can get your feet on good carpet, and this is like a nice, nice carpet. Like gotta go barefoot. Sorry, Gregory Pierre. So you can't see it on camera though, so it's all good. Unless Tanner's lying to me. No, you there, cannot. There we go. It just all depends on his feelings of ankles. Hey, I show my ankles all the time. So, listen, you've got some upcoming events that we may or may not be going to. Trying. So, we won't go into what they are. Or, we won't go into the dates. We won't go into the dates. Obviously, we're going to talk about it. It's a concert. EDM music. My jam, dubstep. Yeah, dubstep. See, this is why I want to know. It's like, what kind of... Yeah kind of music they're going to be playing. Yeah, there's the the lineup is stacked. Now, last time we went to a concert, we had, it was two rooms. Yeah. I spent zero time in, in, the, in the secondary room. Yeah. Not because of the music, actually. It was more because of, like, the other room the was too space. big. Yeah. It just wasn't the right vibe. But uh, is that a normal occurrence where they have, like, two shows going on, or is that just a random thing? Uh, for that size, it's rare, but it's, yeah. like, for the bigger shows, it's quite often you get two stages. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I don't think the one that we'll be going to will. It's, yeah. it's at Union, so. Which one's Union? By Argyle. Oh, yeah. <whistles> yeah. I, there, there is a, a 95% chance that I will be there for that. Uh, the chances, we're they're, gonna they're pretty to, high. We're going to have to discuss that 5% and get that down. Yeah. I just need, it. The uh, yeah. We're not going to go into why there's that 5% on camera, but yeah. No, and uh, I don't think I even, we need to go into it at all. I feel like without knowing, I could probably drop that down to two. Yeah. So, 
It's very strong that I'll be going down there. If you would have asked me this question on Wednesday of this week, Wednesday morning, I would have been 100%. 100%. But some, some things transpired, my own fault, that uh, gives it that 5% kind of... Eh, yeah, but, but knowing you, yeah. knowing you, I just know that you, like, wh- whatever that 5% chance is, yeah. better be strong. Yeah. Because you don't like missing these things. No, I don't want to miss this one, especially because you're telling me the lineup is a banger. And the Argyle bar or whatever, that concert oh, venue, is on point. Oh, like, yeah, dude. It, that, that's a legendary spot. That venue is my favorite place in Alberta to see a show. Mm-hmm. I've spent many a time there when it was just a bar hanging out in my 20s when I was going to school down there. And the last concert I went to see there was uh, Bad Boy from Outcast and uh, The Cool Kids. And? Boom! Unbelievable. Like I, it's Cool Kids, right? That's the name of the group. I'm pretty uh, sure. Uh, you you know better than me. Yeah. Anyways, uh, they they have a song called 808. I'd listened to them just in passing before, but seeing anybody live just like brings their music to life. Unbelievable. A hundred percent. And Bad Boy from Outcast is a true professional. Like it was one of, hands down, one of one of the best rap concerts I've ever been to. This is what I'm saying. Is like that venue is, is just throws it down. Yeah, and yeah. the reverb of the music from all over the, like yeah. bouncing off the walls and stuff like that, and how yeah. close you get to the stage. It's That's gonna right. be good. That's right. I'd say yeah, Bad Boys concert there was my second favorite rap concert of all times. First place goes to Jay Z. Jay Z, Vancouver. It was when him and Justin Timberlake, Timberlake were on a tour together. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them just. Knocked it through the park. Like, I don't think I could think of two r- artists in music that represent you better. Yeah, facts. And they both brought it. Like they, it was an unbelievable concert, like from start to finish. Yeah, yeah. loved it, loved it. Two cultures just crossing worlds. Hey. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was good. But those are the two. Those are top top two. And then, well, no, we got to bump them down because number one is Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, Fort Max, Snoop Dogg, Cancun. I'm just putting them into one awesome experience. Snoop Dogg's number one, Jay Z's number two, Bad Boys number three. Fair. That, that's uh, that's my concert. That's fair. As, as far as rap concerts are concerned, if we're going outside rap concerts, what about the kind of concerts that we've been to? The last one we went to was the best, hands down. Stone level. Hands down. Yeah. The DJs and we interviewed a bunch of them. Literally, were spectacular. I had never noticed. Maybe they're at other shows and I just didn't see it. But the laser show uh, that one of the artists had uh, going down blew my mind, literally. I was just like staring up at it being like, wow. Yeah, the production value is wow, incredible, especially yep. for the size of the venue. That's right. And then that's the other part. The size of the venue couldn't have been more perfect. That's another thing that's really good about Union Hall raves is it like, it really fills in there quite nicely. Yeah. Like you get in there and you got like a few hundred people that are going in and yeah. and you get that small venue feel with like a couple of hundred people and yep. it really rocks out. Yep. Yep. So yeah, looking forward to, to that one. But yeah, the last one we went to was was my favorite. So far. So far. Yeah. I got I got a lifetime of uh Concerts to go to, so absolutely, and we're gonna we're gonna go to them. Another banging concert that I went to years and years ago was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They were good. Oh, they like you know how sometimes you go to a concert and the artist doesn't sound like the album, or they're a little bit off. These guys could have been lip syncing. They were so good. They were just not missing a note, not miss, missing a beat. They were just on point, like great performance and they just they played forever they went hard in the paint that night like that hot chili peppers concert amazing amazing yeah you i yeah that's i'm surprised you like that kind of music oh yeah i like the chili peppers man i like all type of music uh the only music that i used to say i didn't like because i was just uneducated on it was country music but as i've got older you know i'll give country a bit of a I'll give it a I'll give it a shot here and there my mom's going to see a country artist that she loves in edmonton it's going to be a show. Yeah. That man puts on a performance. You've seen? I have not. I've only heard, and like a few years ago, he was up in Edmonton, and he just like was there for one show, and they they kept booking him. He's like, I'll just keep coming back and back and back and back. He played like six or seven shows in a row. 
What I love about Mr. Brooks is he doesn't want people or scalpers to overcharge for his tickets. They're super cheap. He wants the fans to go there. So what he'll do is he'll like put on a bunch of shows back to back to dilute the ticket sale price. So it's just like, hey, don't pay $300 to come see me because this guy's selling it. I just added some more shows onto it. Come see me for 35 to 40 and uh, that's actually what happened to my my mom is they they missed the first show and he said well i sold out there so quick that i'll just do another one that's right and uh and then he put on a second one and they got tickets for the second one for value of that's right and that's that so you can't scalp that dude's tickets because he'll just keep putting on shows which yeah. is great like as an artist even think like that like i think a lot of artists would be like oh you know i don't like it but there's nothing i can do about it i uh I think that uh, I think that it's, it's what you're willing to pay. I don't think that there's anything necessarily wrong with uh, with the up cost of a ticket going up just because you didn't get them. That's right. But like, in this day and age, I feel like back in the day, if you like, and I'm talking like back back in the day before the, before the internet, before Ticketmaster. Yep. Like, if the tickets were sold out appropriately, like if you stood in line and you went and bought four, and then like it got sold out, like yeah. Fair enough. But, like, nowadays, when you go on Ticketmaster, like, literally two seconds after they go on sale, some bot goes and gets it, and you don't have a chance to get it. It's, like, it's not fair, you know? Yeah, but uh, at that point, you shouldn't... It's That's nothing on... Like, that. you just need to change the game as... Tick, like, Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster sucks. Yeah, Ticketmaster, yeah. It's notoriously a terrible ticket mm -hmm. selling service that we all just kind of agree to use anyways. That's right. So, like, that's the biggest problem more than I'd say the scalpers or the... Yeah, uh, I'm not mad at the scalpers. Hey, make your money. Yeah. Make your money. But I like that an artist is just like, you know what? I'm going to combat this a little bit. Yeah, doing the right thing. That's right. I don't understand why, like, bigger artists... Like, if I was a big artist like that, I'd, I'd go around doing, like bar shows that are like 35 bucks a ticket and fit 50 people and still just rocking out you know every once in a while could you yeah. imagine oh man that would be just going to a random underground concert and xxx walks in like yeah boom and boom. Uh, by xxx i'm assuming you mean like mystery name and that's not, right not and, a porn star no i uh, uh, XXX is the uh, abbreviation of a rapper in my generation. Oh, named XXX Tentacion, and he like got he. It's a whole thing. He got killed in 2016. Oh no! Don't know yeah. him. Don't know him. Yeah. Maybe we should listen to some of the stuff later on. Yeah, it's not great. Okay. Yeah. R.I.P. Nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, rappers, have you seen Kendrick Kendrick Lamar's new rap video? No. Where he transforms into all of these people. No. -wee. I've had some friends say that his album has not been as good as they were hoping. I have not listened to the album. The one song that I heard, and I don't know the name of it, and I didn't. I watched it as well. Great song, and the video is unbelievable. He literally like morphs into Will Smith and OJ, and like all these other rap. Well, not not rappers, but he iconic black figures. And he has, like, verses geared to those individuals while he's looking like them. It's, like, it's it's a deep fake. And it's kind of scary where you can go yeah, with, like, those deep faking people. Yeah, the technology is getting pretty scary. Yeah. It's uh, super cool but super horrifying. Like, I remember watching the Tupac uh, Coachella and my mind being just like, what is happening and now you look at that and you're just like, man, that stuff is so hokey. Yeah. Like the where technology's gone in the last like five years is just like <sighs> skyrocketed. Like video games that you remember playing and they just you remember it being real. Yeah. You boot it up like three years later and you're like, this is terrible. Yeah. Like uh, when I boot up uh, GoldenEye on the 64, I'd remember like this being like, video games are never gonna get any better than this. Yeah. Like this is this is it. How 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 are we going to move past this? Yeah. This is this is the defining mark. I guess we're finished. This is the game, and that now when you put Goldeneye in, it's just like. Have you seen wow. the Have you seen the videos of the new Unreal Engine? No. The the new Unreal Engine is uh, like Unreal is like a video game engine. Okay. And they've just released a video of their new engine coming out, and it looks like real. Okay. Like the graphics yeah. that they like the, they did like a short little video. Okay. Yeah, we gotta check that out afterwards. Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. Okay. We'll check that out for sure. Yeah. No, the games now are just like the the graphics are on another level. 
But yeah, that video with Kendrick Lamar. Hoo-wee. You know what I've been listening to a lot lately? What? ASAP Rocky. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of ASAP Rocky lately. You like to support people at weird times. Yeah, like way after the fact. Yeah. Yeah, literally. way after the fact. Yeah, literally, it's just like the news. Hey, that's in somebody you should probably pay attention to if they're in the news. Yeah, like he uh, just did an interview on Drink Champs. Yeah. And I love, I love Drink Champs. Big shout out to Noriega. Let's give him his flowers. Noriega, Drink Champs, awesome. Like that whole, his whole team, there's more than just him, but it's a, it's a great podcast. And uh, I just watched the one with ASAP Rocky. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go down this rabbit hole. And I knew about ASAP before, but you know, I've really been delving deep into his catalog lately. Him and uh, another dude you actually introduced me to, uh, Mr. Harlow. Jack Harlow, yeah. Yeah, man. He's coming up big time right now. Yeah. So way to be on the come up of that. You were repping him way before he he hit. Wow, well, I wouldn't say that. Way before he hit for you for sure. Yeah. Well, he's his new album dropped. Like everybody's talking about him. He's got a song with Drake, a collab. Like you were talking about him well over a year ago and you're like, Hey, you listened to this guy before? So Yeah, well this what's popping is what really made him like take off. Yeah. Because that was his first big single that like blew him up. But That's right. His album is uh, his album is good too. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't listened to this full album yet. So. I haven't listened to the full thing, but a few songs are good. Yeah, I love that. I ain't no fashionista, but I fly though. I was gonna say he put nail tech on it. Yeah, and I know I gave I know I gave up drinking, but I'm high though. Like yeah, that bar. It's the it's iconic it's for solid you. Solid bar, it? man. Yeah, man. I like that bar a lot. Yeah. So no, that was a good one. So big shout out to those guys. That's where. That's what I'm listening to rap-wise nowadays, new school rap, I should say. Which is a, a big uh, shift for you. Yeah, it's very different from, like, the, the gangster rap that I'm used to or, like, uh, the 90s, like, Wu-Tang, Nas, Jay-Z. Yeah, everything's a lot more kind of coded in our music today than it is Yeah. back in those days. Yeah, yeah. But I listen to, uh, like, uh, a lot of these rappers talk about battling and diss tracks and literally today I was driving and hit him up my Tupac came on I'm like you guys don't know what a diss track is you're trying to be cute and like nonchalant and try to like wrap around who you're trying to like you're like I think yeah with hit him up you knew exactly who Tupac was talking about yeah but like the difference between like Tupac and uh and like today's rappers is 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 basically his death row yeah like you had death row yeah. That was everybody from where Tupac came from. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, love. you, if you were, like, if you could say whatever you want, because it wasn't like your record label head was going to come down and be like, that lost us sale. That's right. That's right. Right? Like, there was, they, everybody on the team was about it. But now, that's like, right. if you speak in a certain way that doesn't fit a certain narrative or a role or whatever, yeah, that's right. they'll come down and they'll tell you that, like, hey, this isn't going to work. Yeah, this is not going to fly. That's why, like, you can hear, like, you can hear similar aggression you know obviously not as well put together but similar aggression from a lot of like lesser known rappers yeah. more independent rappers right but that song starts off <laughs> yeah pretty intense <laughs> pretty intense i got like i don't i don't even want to like bleep out how that song starts on the max city morning show it's just like boom in your face and then it just he's using people's names he's calling people out it's just it's uh yeah. the best in my opinion Outside, Ether is pretty bad by Jay Z or by Nas. Ether is pretty bad, yeah. but Hit 'Em Up is, in my opinion, the best battle rap ever. That's the best track. It doesn't get doesn't you, get more dirtier. You than mean diss track? Diss yeah. track. Yeah, yeah. yeah what did I say? Battle rap. Battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't battle. He wasn't yeah. battling. No, there's some. He battle was ending. Rap. He was ending careers with that one. Yeah, there's some there's some better battle rap out there for insults and injury, but yeah, yeah. But as a record release goes, that's yeah. that's top. Yeah, I've been listening to a little Dicky. <laughs> too he's funny there's that show he's got that show on uh i think it's i think it's called little dicky or dave it's called dave yeah it's called dave it's you a ever, funny show man you ever see before like the before the ball kids were all famous and in the nba he like he went and filmed with them like when no. they were all in college and stuff and he pretended to be the fourth ball oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's just little dicky this white guy trying to shoot around with like these three like college d1 athletes yeah yeah it was not going great no He's a funny guy. I yeah. appreciate uh, where he's coming at it. I feel like he got into rap as a joke. Like I feel like, like I feel like everybody accepted him because he was funny. 
Right. You know, they're like, yeah, whatever. And his flow is sick. Yeah. My thing is with, uh, with rappers like him, it's like, yeah, he's so different. Like, it's hard to be that different, you know? Yeah. Like, you got to come up with a different cadence, a different rhyming style. Like, there's no blueprint for what he does. No. And, I don't... and that in itself has to be applauded, in my opinion, has to be applauded. Yeah. I like it. I I, uh, I appreciate the originality. Of I can Dickie. respect it because he's a better rapper than me, but uh, right. this is not for me. No. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I'm like not... his. Well, you you see, you hit me up with one of his songs though. Him and Snoop. There's a cartoon rap video. I was, it's a banger of a track. Like okay. they're telling a story, and that's what I find. Back in the day, certain rap songs told you like a story like that. Like that's a narrative back and forth between those two talking. And you don't get that that much anymore. So, yeah, appreciate it. Like I said, it's not what I bang to in the car all the time, but I can appreciate it for sure. Well, that's the song Snoop and Little Dicky did. Pro- yeah. Oh, Professional Rapper? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. The video is fire, and the rapping back and forth is really good. I, uh, uh, I'll have to show you a rapper named Rich Chiga. Rich Chiga. Yeah, he goes okay. by Rich Brian now. Okay. Yeah, he's he's an he's an Asian rapper. Nice. Uh, and uh, he's fairly he's fairly good at flow and That's talking awesome. about like the music video he does is yeah, like, yeah. super hard. He dances around in a fanny pack. Okay. It's pretty dope. Hey, speaking of fanny packs. Yeah. Total. Uh, shoo, shoo, you started a uh, bit of a clothing line. I wouldn't say it. I say, I'd say I added on to a clothing line that was already established. Yeah, so you got, well, I guess you got, you got a collab. Yeah. You got a little collab going. Yeah. So we should shout that out. So uh, what's that line What's that line called? I don't know if we should shout it out yet because uh, that collab doesn't go into a full announcement until Saturday. Oh, and this goes out on Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't uh, burst the bubble. But for everybody watching. Um, you can find it. You can find it. Yeah, there's a there's a adventure clothing online. We won't tell you why it's there, what it's doing, but yeah. there's new clothes on our website. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Tanner's uh, collab with us. Yeah. <laughs> the first of. First of many. Yeah. I talked to Jason. Um, nobody knows who Jay is, so but Jay's never gonna watch this. But <laughs> <laughs> Jay's my business partner. I talked to Jay about some of the ideas we were talking about off camera last time about doing some like random merch drops. Okay. He, he, he's, he's on board. He's he on board. It. He's on board with the idea and the, the craziness of it. So uh, I think we might be doing a few collabs coming up. But you got your first collab on the go, which I guess next Friday, if we remember, so we'll, we'll, it out. we'll direct people to. But we should post something about it after it goes live. Yeah. To like just like make a social media post so when, people can see it. You can base it Wednesday at two, like or Saturday at two o'clock. Yeah. That's when. That's yeah. when it will be fully announced to. All parties. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, hopefully from there, it'll yeah. do good. There you go. Cool. Well, listen, man, I don't know how much time we've gone, but I really need to go uh, use the washroom. 23 minutes. 23 minutes. So that's, yeah. hey, listen, that's not bad. No, we're doing better. Doing better. Well, I always wanted to go over 20 minutes. That's what the Friday episodes are for. And people keep watching. There's like a, a dedicated audience that tunes in. To every YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. To the nice. YouTube. Thank you, YouTube exclusive audience. We yep. appreciate it. We do appreciate it. And they watch the full full thing. So big shout out. Let us know if you want the longer or the shorter episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we got a we got a nice little crew watching it. So but yeah, we're gonna cut it a little short. We're not going to the 30, 40 mark that we kind of have got accustomed to, but my bad. I should have used the washroom before we started filming. So Everybody at home, thank you for watching. Do appreciate it. Big shout out to Noral Toyota, our title sponsor for this episode. Um, We appreciate your ongoing support. I hope everybody at home is having a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. It's so Talk about quenching your ugly thirst.